So Kemi says, what if you're married to such a person? How will you go about that? Well, you still have to do kind of the same thing, right? Because if you get sucked into it, right? People, a lot of times people are like, well, but I'm in this situation. And so how do I go about it now that I'm in this situation, right? And it's the same situation. It's just a different agreement that you guys have, right? And so your agreement with marriage, you know, assuming that you're from the West and <laughs> that you're Christian and all that kind of stuff is that you are going to work things out together and that you're both committed to making this work. And so the strategies that I talked about are the same strategies. You still need to believe in your value. You still need to make sure you're getting rid of your own toxicity. You still need to make sure you're not being manipulative. You still need to make sure that you are setting boundaries and you're changing how you feel about the manipulative behavior and all that kind of stuff. And you're giving silence when he's acting manipulative and you're walking away when he continues to do that. The only difference is that you're probably going to give him more chances because you're married to him, right? Marriage doesn't quite mean the same things today as it used to. Um, and at the same time, it, you know, you you did make a commitment, right? You made a commitment that you were going to be with this person and do whatever it takes in order to fix things. However, it takes two to tango, right? It always takes two to tango and it doesn't matter anything else. My suggestion is that you do not engage in manipulative behavior. And so he gets to choose. Does he want to save his marriage? Or does he want to continue being, being manipulative, right? And you can point out manipulative behavior and you're just like, you know, but you don't want to get sucked into it. You don't want to get angry about it. You don't want to fight about it. You don't want to, you know, do any of that kind of stuff. What you want to do is just point it out and just be like, Hey, you know, there it was again, that's blame. You know, there it is again. That's, you know, victimhood. There it is again. You know, that's guilt. And then just be like, when you want to interact with me and not do these things and not try to guilt me, let me know, you know, we can continue this conversation. Um, you know, cause I'd love to work things out and I'd you know, I love you to death and, and I want to have an amazing marriage where we both absolutely cherish each other and we're both on the same side. And I'm not going to put up with this behavior. It's, it's not, uh, it, it's below, it's beneath both of us. You know, we are better than this. We're better than this behavior, right? You want to be on his side. You want to be there together with him and say, Hey, look, we're in this together and I'm not going to be manipulated, right? It's this behavior. That's the problem. It's not you. It's the behavior, right? It's this manipulation. And I want to be with you. You know, we just have to get rid of this manipulation and if we can do that, then we can be together and we can actually connect and we can love each other like we did at the beginning. We can love each other like the like we did when we decided that we wanted to get married to each other. You know, doesn't that sound amazing? Doesn't that sound like exactly what it is that you want? Where we have peace and love and connection, where we just honor each other and we cherish each other and we care about each other and we look each other in the eyes and we remember that spark that we had that made us want to, you know, commit ourselves to each other for life to allow our souls to merge and combine and be one in this life. And I want to honor that. I want to continue doing that, but we have to get rid of this stuff, you know, this habit. And that's what you want to do. Does that make sense there, Kimmy? 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 